In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to remove the seat belt in your car. Now, what I'm using there is that uh, mold removal tool, that non-marking removal tool, just to remove the molding from the door itself. Now, you may have realized that I've removed my seat in this, in this video, but it's, it's just for video purposes. You don't have to remove your seat at all. It's all pretty easy stuff and you can do it with it in there. So, we're gonna start by just getting your removal tool and just easing it down the side and just releasing it from the rubber because it actually pinches into the rubber itself. So what I've done is I've just got it in there as you can see and I've just slid it down. And as you slide it down, you'll hear it start to clip out. All of these brackets, all of these moldings just clip in. They've got like a little clipping uh, plug at the back. So just ease it out and it just pulls off. You know, Don't be too aggressive because you don't want to break the holding clip that actually is on the actual molding itself. So just take your time and don't be too aggressive. Okay, now with your Phillips screwdriver, we're just gonna relieve the, re remove these two uh, screws at the bottom of the actual plastic molding, the, the base of the seat belt, I should say. So it's all simple stuff, just a couple of um, uh, Phillips screwdrivers, just undo it and get it done. Now for video purposes, what I've done here is I've actually removed this whole side molding. Now, in reality, if I wasn't making a video, I wouldn't really do it, if I'm being honest. What I'll do is I'll just edge it up and just get it just enough out of the way so you can just move the stuff off. You know, you don't have to take it off completely. But in this video, I have. So it's an option if you want to, and it's an option if you don't want to. But as you can see, all I've done here is use that same removal tool and just slid it down the length of that molding. And in the end, just use my hands and just lifted it up. Like, it, once again, it's all clips. These are metal clips, so these are a bit more robust. Um, and just lift it up. Okay, so to remove this molding, um, you have to screw off this little end cap at the end. It's, you could do it off by hand, as you can see what I'm doing here. So if, you're going, if you intend to remove it completely, that's what you have to do, and it just all comes out pretty easy, like you see I'm doing right now. But like I said, once again, as I said earlier, not necessary, you could just slide this out of the way. Now this is the seat belt retainer. You just need to screw it off with a Phillips screwdriver. Now get a good head Phillips screwdriver. I know it looks like it's a socket, but it's actually, a, it's actually got a Phillips head at the end and I had to get the right size because I didn't want to round it out. Once you've got it loose, just drop one side and as you see, just, just feed it around the back of it. So it's completely free from that restrainer there. Now loosen the bottom bolt of the seat belt, um, of the seat belt itself. Do you know, I've been a bit naughty here because I don't actually remember the size of the nut at the bottom. I think it's a 17. Once you've released the actual bolt at the bottom, just undo the uh, the clip. That's the airbag clip which sets it off when you crash, tightens it up, it blows it up and locks it in place. Now undo the top of the seat belt. Like I say, just open that, that cover up. And um, once again, that's the same size as the bottom, but I don't remember the size. But yeah, once you've done that, it's all pretty simple. Now just lift it up and out it's got like a little groove which it sits in and i always wrap it up in this sort of way because if it goes all the way in it locks and you can't get it so that's how you re uh, remove your uh, seat belt hope that helps comment rate subscribe thanks for watching